Have you noticed a flat red patch on your skin that just won't heal? It might look like eczema or just dry skin, but if it's hanging around for weeks, months or even years, especially on your shoulders, chest or back, it could be a type of skin cancer called superficial BCC or superficial basal cell carcinoma. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar. Now I've already made a full video on BCC or basal cell carcinoma and you can watch that in the description below. I explain in this video what BCCs are, how we diagnose and the treatment options available. But today I want to focus on one subtype and that's the superficial kind because it often looks different and sometimes it gets missed often for years. So basal cell carcinoma or BCC is the most common type of skin cancer and superficial BCCs is a particular subtype that tends to spread outwards along the surface of the skin rather than forming into a raised bump like the other types can do. So it appears as a flat red or pink patch, a bit like dry or flaky area that doesn't heal or respond to moisturizers. So it grows slowly over months or even years, but if it's left untreated it can gradually extend and cause more damage, scabbing and, and bleeding and things like that. So I'm going to show you some examples here and you can see that many of these lesions are subtle. They're easy to miss or misdiagnose as eczema. And I'm also going to show you some dermoscopy images here so you can get a sense of what patterns that we look for when making a diagnosis. As you can see from these cases on screen that they appear as flat, scaly, red or pink patches. Sometimes a bit shiny or even crusted over at times. They're usually not itchy or painful and it's often mistaken for eczema or psoriasis or even actinic keratosis. But unlike those, it just doesn't improve with the typical treatments for eczema like moisturizer or steroid creams. So superficial BCC is more common in people over the age of 40 with fair skin who have lots of sun exposure over time or sunburns uh, in younger life. And I often see it in areas like the back or the shoulders or up around the chest or even on the limbs especially in those who've had sunburns or worked outdoors or used sunbeds. Um, it can also appear in younger adults with sun damage. Like with all cancers, earlier diagnosis means easier treatment and a better result. When I examine a suspected superficial BCC, I always use my dermatoscope and you'll hear me talking about that a lot on this channel. It's a handheld tool that allows me to see patterns and structures under the skin surface, so a wee bit deeper than you can with your naked eye. So, so superficial BCCs will often show very fine blood vessels, thin white lines, a scaly surface and multiple micro ulcerations or breaks on the skin surface. But you can't always tell just by looking. In some cases I may recommend a biopsy. That means taking a small sample of the skin to confirm the diagnosis before we plan the treatment. This helps ensure we're not missing something more serious like a non-pigmented melanoma or a squamous cell carcinoma or a more aggressive subtype of BCC. So treatment uh, has several options and the right one depends on the size, the depth and location of the lesion. So in my clinic we might use topical treatments like Amiquimod or Effudex and apply them over several weeks to trigger an immune response or to kill those abnormal cells and I'll link to videos that I've made on those. Um, we also may perform surgical options like curatage and cautery which means scraping the skin away after the area has been numbed and then cauterizing the top of that. Or they can be totally excised meaning it's cut out with surgical margins around them and then repairing the skin defect afterwards with uh, sutures. Photodynamic therapy is also used in some cases but that's mainly in hospitals. Most surgery is used for other subtypes of BCC but occasionally it may be used if a superficial BCC shows up in a very tricky area. Because it's flat and red, superficial BCC easily gets confused with eczema or psoriasis or even actinic keratosis. I've done another video on those which I'll link also below. These are precancerous lesions. So if you've got a patch um, of dry or red skin that's not going away or responding to the usual creams or if it's just slowly continuing to grow, it's worth getting it checked out by someone trained in skin lesion recognition. But don't be alarmed if you've been diagnosed with superficial BCC. It's one of the most common and treatable types of skin cancer. So if you've spotted a red or pink patch that's just not healing, don't ignore it. Early diagnosis means easier treatment and better results. And if you'd like to understand 
BCCs more deeply. Be sure to watch this next video where I will link to more details on that.